I have a square here divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 equal sections. And we've already seen that if we were to shade in one of these sections, if we were to select one of these sections, let's say the middle one right over here, this is one out of the nine equal sections. So if someone said, what fraction of the whole does this purple square represent? Well, you would say, well, that represents that represents one ninth of the whole. This thing right over here represents one ninth. Now, what would happen if we shaded in more than that? So let's say we shaded in this one and this one. So let me shade it in a little bit better. And this one and this one right over here. Now, what fraction of the whole have we shaded in? Well, each of these, we've already seen, each of these represent one ninth. So that's a ninth, that's a ninth. When I say one ninth, I could also say a ninth. So this is one ninth or a ninth. So each of these represents a ninth. But how many of these ninths do we have shaded in? Well, we have one, two, three, four shaded in. So now we have a total of four ninths shaded in. Four of the nine equal sections are shaded in, so four ninths of the whole is shaded in. Now let's make things a little bit more interesting. Let's shade in, so here I have five equal sections. Let me write this down. I have five equal sections. And let me shade in, let me shade in five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. We already know that each of these sections, each of these shaded in sections represent a fifth. So one fifth, another way of saying that is a fifth, is one fifth. But now how much do I have shaded in? Well, I have five out of the five equal sections shaded in, or I have five fifths shaded in. And you might be saying, wait, wait, if I have five out of the five equal sections shaded in, if I have five fifths shaded in, I've got the whole thing shaded in. And you would be absolutely right. Five fifths is equal to the whole. Now what I want you to do is pause this video and write down on a piece of paper, or at least think in your head, what fraction of each of these holes is shaded in. So let's go to this first one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six equal sections six equal sections, and we see that one, two, three, four are shaded in. So four sixths of this figure is shaded in. Let's go over here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five equal sections, five equal sections, and one, two, three, four are shaded in. So here, four fifths of this circle is shaded in. Now in this figure, I have two equal sections, two equal sections, and both of them are shaded in. So two, and this we would say two halves of this figure are shaded in, and once again, if two halves are shaded in, that means everything is shaded in. That a whole, that the whole, that this represents a whole. Now this one right over here, it might be tempting to say, hey, I have one, two, three, four sections, and one, two, three have been shaded in, so maybe this represents, the red represents three-fourths of the figure. But remember, the sections have to be equal sections. And this red section is way bigger. It actually looks like it's bigger than the other three combined. So you do not have four equal sections here. So at least based on how it's drawn, you can't say that three-fourths is actually filled in.